In this video, you will learn how to upload your first program. You may notice the code in this Blink program is slightly different than the code in the previous video. Uh, the big difference is that instead of using uh, the LED variable to refer to pin 13, the Arduino IDE now, this version, I'm using version 1.8.5, it has a LED underscore built-in uh, feature here that allows me to refer to the onboard LED of any Arduino. The advantage to this is that not all Arduinos are connected to pin 13. So this will work, this program will work no matter what type of microcontroller we're using. So now it's time to upload our program to a robot. In order to do that, the first thing we need to do is click on tools and choose which art type of microcontroller we're using. Today we're using the Arduino Nano. Once you do that, you need to plug in your robot to your computer. So the first step is to plug in this end of the USB cable. So see the opening right here needs to line up with the little piece of plastic that uh, is right here. If I tried to put it in this way, I wouldn't be able to. I need to make sure that they line up and then I can push them in. Do not force it. Next, I need to plug in my robot. And again, I need to look at the shape of those two items and make sure I'm not plugging them in upside down. I need to make sure that they're being plugged in correctly. Again, do not force it. Be very careful with your um, cable. Don't apply upward pressure or sideways pressure on your cable uh, when you're using your robot. Otherwise, you could rip this piece right off of the Arduino. You'll notice I have the ro robot on top of a wooden block here. I have some other stands that you might be using. The reason I have this is because when you first plug in the robot to your computer, the ro computer only sends out five volts of power and the motors are actually expecting six because of this voltage regulator. Now if I apply or if I allow the nine volt battery to supply power to the Arduino by turning on this switch, the motors start behaving and the whole class doesn't have to listen to the annoying chatter of those motors. However, you have to keep this in mind. If I unplug it and I plug it back in, the Arduino won't be recognized and you'll actually get an error message. So make sure that before you plug it in, you turn off power to the Arduino, plug it in, and then go ahead and turn the power on. So the next step is to choose the port. For this computer and Arduino pair, the computer is going to consider this robot's name as COM7. Choose that and then click the upload button. Before I click the upload button, uh, I want to point out that there's a power LED right here that's already on. That just signifies that the Arduino has power. That's the only thing it signifies. When I click the upload button, you'll notice these other two LEDs start lighting up here in just a second. These are the TX, and, these are connected to the TX and RX pins on the Arduino, and they just signify that the Arduino is communicating with the computer. This is the onboard LED that we can actually control. And you can see it's actually running the program we just uploaded. It's on for a second, off for a second, on for a second, off for a second. Let's go ahead and make a slight change to our program and see what happens. I'm going to make both of these 1000 microsecond delays into 100 microsecond delays and upload the program again. Again, you see the communication between the computer and the robot, and now the new program that blinks much faster. Before you move on to the next video, I would like you to take the time to change this program so that it blinks faster, 
then make it blink slower. Don't make your delays any greater than two seconds, which would be 2,000 microseconds. And then I would like you to make it on for a long time and off for a short time, and then on for a short time and off for a long time. Once you've done that, feel free to move to the next video.